Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So some of you may notice that I have another angel right here. This angel, um, this was gifted to me when I was a little girl and it went missing for years. And this one, um, I just found this angel. And same with this one. I, I think I found this one about a year ago. And then for some of you have been following me this time. Uh, so I've found this angel and now I found this one. So when I was younger, I used to get random, random gifts like angels all the time. And so <laughs> this was one of them. This was another. Um, I have one more somewhere, which is also missing. We'll see if, if that comes, um, sometime. But yeah, this is a quite, um, I love this one. This is my favorite one because you can kind of see it looks like a reunion here. So you have a, two like twin angels here They're like celebration and it's like a reunion it's kind of like a, a wedding altar it kind of looks like a wedding altar yeah and then this is the new one here i think this angel is blowing a, f a flute or it's or it could be a trumpet because it's going downwards so i think it's a trumpet Ba -boom. <laughs> that's my <laughs> that's my impression of a trumpet <laughs> okay let's see what we have today Okay, there's a lot of things happening in this reading, so I'm gonna I'm going to start uh, with the first thing that I see here. I see here that there's a divine masculine at this time who's quite emotional. It it shows a lot of um, sadness, sadness. I see a lot of sadness, but these tears that this divine masculine cries is to it's like a purge to clear out. I see here clearing out the emotions. Um, they're trying to be strong about it. They're trying not to get emotional, but it's needed. I feel like this Divine Masculine has held these emotions in for a long period of time. I see here that it's to restore balance and to bring this Divine Masculine back to God. There's something about bringing this Divine Masculine back to God, back into prayer. This Divine Masculine may have pulled away from, from God, the Divine um that connection that they once shared it i see here that this divine masculine is being very guarded um a little bit stubborn in the way that they think it shows here that it's a learned it's something that was a knowledge um information that that they learn it's it's like a habit kind of thing which they need to let go of some things it's what I'm getting here is that this divine masculine is too into their own um, beliefs that they are not open to what what God has to say or what God has to show this divine masculine. This is a divine masculine who is like, I, I have control over my life. I set my own rules. Um, my decisions are my own decisions, right? They don't feel that there is something greater than them that that has a, a bigger say right it's like it's not all in your hands kind of thing but this divine masculine i see here that they're very stubborn in in their decision making so when it comes to the divine i see the god is is showing or or trying to guide this divine masculine it's like surrender surrender yourself um be open to hearing what you need to hear right go into prayer seek for 
answer, seek for wisdom, knowledge, information. But this divine masculine is like, no, I'm holding on to what I know. So I see here that they're quite stubborn here. So this is not going to resonate for all. But if you know your masculine stubborn, then you know. <laughs> because this is a divine masculine is quite stubborn, right? And I, I see here that they feel that that gives them strength. This is a divine masculine who wants to be very tough, very strong. But I see here that this emotion, this, the sadness, this, um, these tears that they need to cry. And I see that it's coming. Like their tears are falling, but not to an extreme. I see here that it's the beginning of, of the release. This is to get that clear out this is to get that purge so that when they release what they need to release because it's hard i feel like this to my masculine is like it's hard to be right all the time it's hard to to be in my ways meaning that the way that they've been carrying themselves the way that they've been making their decisions doing things the way that they think it's like it's starting to exhaust them and they're not quite sure why it's bothering them all of a sudden but I see here that it's time for you to let it go it's time for you to release this this tension and I see here that it's to help restore the balance within this divine masculine and this is going to connect this divine masculine to the divine so this divine masculine needs to release what they need to release to allow God to fill their heart to fill them it's like they they have all this this love that is being shown to them. They have all this love that needs to be filled within them. But because of this stubbornness and the way that they do things, the way that they carry themselves, that they hold on to things, is not allowing the love to flow or the love to be received. So I see here that in order to receive the love, to receive the wisdom, the guidance, the, the understanding from God, this divine masculine needs to let go of that stubbornness. I see here like holding on to something very tightly because it's something that they are so used to doing. It's all they know. So this is a divine masculine could be, um, because what I'm getting here in some cases, it could be somebody who is older. So it's like this, it's hard to change something that you've done most of your life, right? So it, if you have a habit of doing a certain thing a certain way for most of your life, say maybe for the last 30 years, for example, it's hard to let that go, right? That mindset, that pattern. Um, but it doesn't have to be an older masculine, but I did get that. In some cases, that may be the case. That's why it's very stubborn for this um, masculine. But then... Um, another thing I'm getting is that this could have been something that's generational. So if this is a younger, younger masculine, it could be something that came from their, you know, their parent, right? That is a, an elder, right? So it could have been passed on that this is the way we do things. This is something that's traditional. This is the way that our family has always carried out a certain way of, you know, doing a certain thing or the way that we, um, pursue this or the way that we answer the way that we make decisions so there's something about uh, another thing I'm getting here it's just so many things here <laughs> another thing I'm getting here is that it could be a, a family business or something that it's like ca carried on to the next generation so it's something generational let's see what else is here Time to start a new beginning. I see here that with knowledge with, comes great power. With knowledge comes wisdom, understanding about the next thing. So there's something about the next cycle, the new cycle, the new generation, the next generation. So this divine masculine may be the one to break the cycle, break the pattern that has been going on for some time. So I, I feel like this is something very long. This is something that has been with this Divine Masculine. And this Divine Feminine, whoever this resonates for, you you notice things about this Divine Masculine which you felt like it's out of your hands. It's like you knew that this Masculine was set in a certain way, set in doing things a certain way. It's like I can't, even I can't get get, get to my Masculine, meaning that 
even if you try to show Divine Masculine something different, they were not open to receiving or to listen to what you had to say because it was quite different from what they're used to saying or doing or or experiencing. So I see here that you understood um, early on in that relationship that this Divine Masculine has a certain way of doing things and you did your best to show, you know, a different way or something fresh, something new, but this Divine Masculine was not open to receiving that. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like my readings. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.